Question 153. Which tab of the Azure Pricing Calculator would you use to calculate your estimate? Option A. Storage. Option B. Estimate. Option C. Machines. Option D. Products. And the correct answer is Option D. Products. Explanation. The Products tab allows us to choose certain services and configure a solution. We then get an estimated cost for deploying our solution. Next question. What is network latency? Option A. The time it takes for data to travel over the network. Option B. The maximum amount of data that can travel over the network. Option C. The distance the data travel over the network. Option D. The cost incurred by the data traveling over the network. And the correct answer is option A. The time it takes for data to travel over the network. Explanation. Network latency is the time it takes for data or a request to go from the source to the destination. Latency in networks is measured in milliseconds. Next question. Azure Dash is an authorization system built on Azure Resource Manager that provides fine-grained access management to Azure resources. Option A. Locks. Option B. Resource Groups. Option C. Role-based access control RBAC. Option D. Policies. And the correct answer is Option C. Role-based access control. Explanation. From the official Azure docs, access management for cloud resources is a critical function for any organization, that is, using the cloud. Azure role-based access control helps you manage who has access to Azure resources, what they can do with those resources, and what areas they have access to. Azure RBAC is an authorization system built on Azure Resource Manager that provides fine-grained access management to Azure resources. What can you do with Azure RBAC? Here are some examples of what you can do with Azure RBAC. Number 1. Allow one user to manage virtual machines in a subscription and another user to manage virtual networks. Number 2. Allow a DBA group to manage SQL databases in a subscription. Number 3. Allow a user to manage all resources in a resource group, such as virtual machines, websites, and subnets. Number 4. Allow an application to access all resources in a resource group. Next question. You can link virtual networks together by using dash. Option A. Virtual Network Hub. Option B. Virtual Network Seeding. Option C. Virtual Network Proxy. Option D. Virtual Network Peering. And the correct answer is Option D. Virtual Network Peering. Explanation. From the official Azure documentation. You can link virtual networks together by using virtual network peering. Peering enables resources in each virtual network to communicate with each other. These virtual networks can be in separate regions, which allows you to create a global interconnected network through Azure. User-defined routes UDR are a significant update to Azure's virtual networks that allows for greater control over network traffic flow. This method allows network administrators to control the routing tables between subnets within a VNet, as well as between VNets. Next question. Dash is a bridge that extends the Azure platform to help with built applications and services with the flexibility to run across data centers at the edge and in multi-cloud environments. It also simplifies governance and management by delivering a consistent multi-cloud and on-premises management platform. Option A. Azure DNS. Option B. Azure Bridge. Option C. Azure Sentinel. Option D. Azure Arc. And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Arc. Explanation. From the official Azure documentation. Azure Arc is a bridge that extends the Azure platform to help you build applications and services with the flexibility to run across data centers at the edge and in multi-cloud environments. Develop cloud-native applications with a consistent development, operations, and security model. Azure Arc runs on both new and existing hardware, virtualization, and Kubernetes platforms, 
IoT devices and integrated systems. Today, companies struggle to control and govern increasingly complex environments that extend across data centers, multiple clouds, and edge. Each environment and cloud possesses its own set of management tools, and new DevOps and IT Ops operational models can be hard to implement across resources. Azure Arc simplifies governance and management by delivering a consistent multi-cloud and on-premises management platform. Next question. Which of the following is the mission-critical cloud deployment available only to U.S. federal, state, local, and tribal governments and their partners? Option A. Azure Government. Option B. Azure Nation. Option C. ISO. Option D. Azure Federal. And the correct answer is option A, Azure Government. Explanation From the official Azure documentation, Azure Government is the mission-critical cloud delivering breakthrough innovation to U.S. government customers and their partners. Only U.S. federal, state, local and tribal governments and their partners have access to this dedicated instance, operated by screened U.S. citizens. Azure government offers the broadcast level of certifications of any cloud provider to simplify even the most critical government compliance requirements. Next question. Your streaming website experiences a burst of heavy traffic whenever you launch a new web series, but relatively moderate traffic on other days. Which of the following would be a great benefit if you migrate your startup to Azure? Option A. High availability. Option B. Elasticity. Option C. Load balancing. Option D. Low latency. And the correct answer is Option B. Elasticity. Explanation. From the official Azure docs, Elastic computing is the ability to quickly expand or decrease computer processing, memory, and storage resources to meet changing demands without worrying about capacity planning and engineering for peak uses. Typically controlled by system monitoring tools, elastic computing matches the amount of resources allocated to the amount of resources actually needed without disrupting operations. With cloud elasticity, a company avoids paying for unused capacity or other resources and doesn't have to worry about investing in the purchase or maintenance of additional resources and equipment. Next question. Dash is a workflow-based risk assessment tool that helps you track, assign, and verify your organization's regulatory compliance activities related to Microsoft Cloud Services. Option A. Compliance Manager from the Service Trust Portal Option B. The TCO Portal Option C. The Microsoft Community Forums Website Option D. The Azure Arc Portal And the correct answer is Option A. Compliance Manager from the Service Trust Portal Explanation Compliance Manager in the Service Trust Portal is a workflow-based risk assessment tool that helps you track, assign, and verify your organization's regulatory compliance activities related to Microsoft Cloud services, such as Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and Azure. There is nothing called Alpha Blade in Azure. Next question. You can use Azure DNS to buy a domain name. Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation. From the official Azure documentation, Azure DNS is a hosting service for DNS domains that provides name resolution by using Microsoft Azure infrastructure. By hosting your domains in Azure, you can manage your DNS records by using the same credentials, APIs, tools, and billing as your other Azure services. You can't use Azure DNS to buy a domain name. For an annual fee, you can buy a domain name by using App Service Domains or a third-party domain name registrar. Your domains there can be hosted in Azure DNS for record management. For more information, see Delegate a Domain to Azure DNS. Next question. A startup has deployed a set of virtual machines 
which are critical for their day-to-day -day operations. They need to ensure their availability even if a single data center goes down. One of their interns has suggested that deploying these VMS using a scale set would solve the problem. Do you agree? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. This answer does not specify that the scale set will be configured across multiple data centers. So, this solution doesn't meet the goal. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets let you create and manage a group of load-balanced VMS. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. Scale sets provide high availability to your applications and allow you to centrally manage, configure, and update many VMS. Virtual machines in a scale set can be deployed across multiple update domains and fault domains to maximize availability and resilience to outages due to data center outages and planned or unplanned maintenance events. Next question. Dash copies your data synchronously across three Azure availability zones in the primary region for applications requiring high availability. Option A. Planet Redundant Storage, PRS. Option B, Locally Redundant Storage, LRS. Option C, Zone Redundant Storage, ZRS. Option D, Geo Zone Redundant Storage, GZRS. And the correct answer is Option C, Zone Redundant Storage, ZRS. Explanation From the official Azure documentation, data in an Azure storage account is always replicated three times in the primary reason. Azure Storage offers two options for how your data is replicated in the primary reason. Number one, locally redundant storage copies your data synchronously three times within a single physical location in the primary reason. LRS is the least expensive replication option, but isn't recommended for applications requiring high availability or durability. Number two, Zone Redundant Storage copies your data synchronously across three Azure Availability Zones in the primary reason. For applications requiring high availability, Microsoft recommends using ZRS in the primary reason and also replicating to a secondary reason. Number three, Geo Zone Redundant Storage combines the high availability provided by redundancy across availability zones with protection from regional outages provided by geo replication. Data in a DZRS storage account is copied across three Azure availability zones in the primary reason and is also replicated to a secondary geographic reason for protection from regional disasters. Next question. A network security group NSG has the ability to encrypt data at rest and in transit. Option A. No. Option B, yes. And the correct answer is option A, no. Explanation. No, a network security group does not encrypt traffic. From the official Azure documentation, you can use an Azure network security group to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network. A network security group contains security rules that allow or deny inbound network traffic to or outbound network traffic from several types of Azure resources. For each rule, you can specify source and destination, port and protocol. You may read more about encryption here. Next question. What is the maximum number of virtual network rules and IP network rules allowed per storage account in Azure? Option A, 200. Option B, 300. Option C, 500. Option D, 150. And the correct answer is option A, 200. Explanation. The correct maximum number of virtual networks per storage account are 200. Next question. Which of the following services allows you to easily run popular open source frameworks including Apache Hadoop, Spark, and Kafka for open source analytics. Option A, Azure Cosmos DB. Option B, Azure Cognitive Services. Option C, 
Azure Azure Insight, Option D, Azure Data Lake Analytics. And the correct answer is Option D, Azure Data Lake Analytics. Explanation, very important. From the official Azure docs, we can easily run popular open source frameworks, including Apache Hadoop, Spark, and Kafka. Using Azure HD Insight, a cost-effective enterprise grid service for open source analytics. Effortlessly process massive amounts of data and get all the benefits of the broad open source ecosystem with the global scale of Azure. Many people get confused between Azure HD Insight and Azure Databricks. Number 1. Azure HD Insight brings both Hadoop and Spark under the same umbrella and enables enterprise to manage both using the same set of tools that is using Ambari, Apache Ranger etc. It also offers industry standard notebook experience with support for both Jupyter and Zeppelin notebooks. Enterprises that want this ease of manageability across all their big data workloads can choose to use HD Insight. Number 2. Azure Databricks is a premium Spark offering that is ideal for customers who want their data scientists to collaborate easily and run their Spark-based workloads efficiently and at industry-leading performance. Azure Databricks is a Apache Spark-based analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. For more details, refer to Azure Databricks documentation. Next question. The member of your organization have been complaining about having to enter their password too many times, which is frustrating. Moreover, users also tend to forget their passwords, which leads to reset overhead. Which of the following services in Azure can help with this? Option A, Azure Arc. Option B, Azure Active Directory Passwordless. Option C, Azure Active Directory Seamless Auth. Option D, Azure Express Root. And the correct answer is option B, Azure Active Directory Passwordless. Explanation From the official Azure documentation, features like multi-factor authentication are a great way to secure your organization. But users often get frustrated with the additional security layer on top of having to remember their passwords. Passwordless authentication methods are more convenient because the password is removed and replaced with something you have plus something you are or something you know. Each organization has different needs when it comes to authentication. Microsoft Global Azure and Azure government offer the following three passwordless authentication options that integrate with Azure Active Directory. Number one, Windows Hello for Business. Number two, Microsoft Authenticator. Number three, FIDO2 Security Keys. You can also allow your employee's phone to become a passwordless authentication method. You may already be using the Authenticator app as a convenient multi-factor authentication option in addition to a password. You can also use the Authenticator app as a passwordless option. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.